Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow chives in Aero Garden Harvest. I heard that it is very difficult to grow chives, especially the Aero Garden's preceded pods. Let's see how this experiment will turn out. I am starting with the seeds that I bought from dollar store. Let's see how these seeds will work. Since the germination rate is very low for chives, I am placing 5 seeds in each pod and starting with all 6 pods. Alright, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. By the way, chives are perennials. I will grow these in aero garden as long as I can and then I will transplant them to soil in my backyard. I am choosing the herb garden which is 17 hours light per day. It's been 14 days. I see only one seed germinated in one pod. No signs of germination in any other pods. As I expected, the germination rate is super low. Only 1 out of 30 seeds germinated. I am not giving up anytime soon. I will wait for a really long time on these seeds. Day 19, I still see only one seedling. No signs of germination from any other seeds or pods. Day 20, still same status. One seed germinated and the seedling is coming nice and that's it. Even though I have only one seedling in this garden, it is time to start feeding it. I will use aero garden nutrients throughout this growth cycle. Day 26, still same progress. It is time to give up on these seeds and replace with the new seeds. Since I already know that these seeds are not working, I will replace some pods with the Aero Garden's preceded pods. I have three preceded pods from Aero Garden and I am using all three of them. Even Aero Garden added a bunch of seeds in each pod. That's it. I will keep the other two pods as is. Let's see if I get lucky with any of these new pods. As I was about to trash the pods, I see some sprouting in one of the pods. So I will keep it and remove one of the other pods. Day 41, no luck at all. No signs of germination even from Aero Garden's preceded pods. In fact, I see lots of mold. So, preceded pods are much worse than my own seeds. I have no hope on these preceded pods or the pods with my own seeds. So, it is time to give up on all these pods. It is not worth keeping this garden with just one plant. So, I will transfer this plant to soil. And I will continue my experiment with other methods. Day 45 Nothing changed. I am finally giving up on this garden. Since the germination failed so badly in Aero Garden, I will try two more methods to see if germination is any easier in these methods. The first method is my popular wet paper towel method. I am placing a few seeds on a paper towel, spread them evenly, fold the paper towel, and add some water to wet the paper towel. Finally, place the paper towel in a Ziploc bag and keep it in a warm place. In the second method, I am adding some cocoa coil into a paper cup. I added a little bit of water to this cocoa coil to add some moisture. Now I am adding a bunch of seeds. Then cover the seeds with a very thin layer of cocoa coil. Finally, place a cover and seal it. This way, we can retain the moisture and help the germination process. Now, I will keep this in a warm place. It's been 3 weeks since I started seeds in wet paper towel. Not even a single seed germinated. Same thing with other method with cocoa coir. Not even a single seed germinated. Wow, what a failure. As my experiments with chives failed, I am obsessed and desperate to grow chives. 
I will not stop my experiments until I see success. This time I am changing the seeds and trying the seeds from park seed. This variety is called garlic geisha. Let's see how these seeds will turn out. I am placing three seeds in each pod and start with all six pods again. If these seeds also don't work, I already have two more varieties of chives ready and I will keep experimenting. That's it, the garden is ready. It's been 14 days. I am finally seeing chive seeds germinated successfully. The germination rate is also pretty good. I see at least one seedling in each pod. Some of the seedlings are struggling to push the roots down. I will help them and reposition the seedlings deep into the sponge. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. I will use aerogoden nutrients as recommended which is 8 ml at every feeding cycle for harvest models. Day 25 Seedlings are coming excellent. This is a funny coincidence. I see multiple seedlings per pod on one side but only one seedling per pod on the other side. Day 40 Chives are coming excellent. I see the leaves are getting fat. They took lot of time but they are finally picking up the growth. I see lot of yucky stuff all over the grow deck. This is basically algae and it is catching up some mold. So it is time to deep clean this bowl and grow deck. And also change the water at this time. Normally I change the water after 10 weeks. But I can't wait any longer with this yucky stuff all over the garden. As I am cleaning the bowl, I just want to show you the root system. Here it is. Not a lot of roots yet. I will take out the pods and clean everything. Water is looking good but I see algae all around the bowl and the grow deck. It is day 60. Now the plants picked up the growth. The older leaves are drying up, so it is time to start harvesting the chives. I see lots of growth coming from the center. Some leaves are coming wide and some leaves are narrow. Anyways, I am finally seeing chives successfully. And I am harvesting some chives today. I can't wait anymore to try these chives. Here is my first harvest of chives after more than 4 months of struggling. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. And the chives are going into my egg omelette. This is my favorite way of using chives. Day 64, it is time to harvest more chives. Day 65. More chives are showing up as I harvest and this journey will go on for a long time if not forever. I will stop here for now. I will keep you posted if I get any more learnings from this experiment. So please stay tuned. Thanks for watching and happy aero gardening.